Mark, obviously from what we're hearing, the Capitol Police probably saved some lives by being there and responding as they did, but it also raises a question. A lot of people are thinking about guns. Who should have them? Who should not? Maybe there should be more good guys with guns, even those who may not have badges. It sure does raise that question. I, I did read a study today that found that states with loose gun laws tend to have higher gun homicide rates. Now, on the other hand, Hernando Sheriff Al Nienheis believes that good guys with guns is a great idea. Obviously, the, the, the person was on a mission, and uh, he was on a mission to take innocent lives. Hernando Sheriff Al Nienheis credits good guys with guns and badges for saving lives in Alexandria, Virginia. But we wanted to know if that's an argument for arming more citizens. If they're responsible citizens and they're, they're trained and they understand um, when and where it's appropriate to use deadly force, then by all means, I'm in favor of that. The more good guys we have out there uh, with weapons, the better. Brevard Sheriff Wayne Ivey recently took it a step further with this speech on Facebook. In my book, what's next is to fully understand that this is war, and you better be prepared to wage war to protect you, your family, and those around you if attacked. Nienheis isn't ready to declare war, but he strongly agrees that more guns in the hands of citizens means safer streets. He disputes academic studies that conclude a higher number of firearm laws in a state are associated with a lower rate of firearm fatalities. In your view, good guys with guns is not a myth. Uh, absolutely not. Nienheis tells me the lesson out of Alexandria today is more about good guys with badges than anything else. You're not going to see too many law enforcement officers quitting today because two of their colleagues got shot. Uh, they're going to keep doing their job. And I think that is the story. That gun study I referenced, published by the Journal of the American Medical Association, ranked Florida with a higher than average number of firearm deaths compared to other states and a lower than average number of gun laws. But it did fall short of establishing a cause and effect relationship. It works in statistics, but more study is needed. Interesting take, though, and the debate continues sure over this does. gun use. Uh, coming up, a reminder, after News Channel 8 at 6, NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt will have much more on the congressional shooting. That will begin at 6.30.